Welcome to Blazers Inside Access. We're sitting now with Blaine McCorkle, head coach of the Bellhaven football team. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Kenny. So the last game of the season for the Bellhaven football team, they were on the road at Howard Payne. They did fall 17 to three, wraps up their season. Uh, let's go ahead and just talk about, dive right into the game. Uh, obviously Howard Payne's really made a step forward this year. They were having a, a pretty successful season. I just wanna get your thoughts on them. Yeah, I give them a lot of credit. They really have done a great job. You know, Coach Harris is in his third year there. He went one and one and nine, one and nine, and now he's five and five. And uh, I give them a lot of credit. They've, they've done what we're all trying to do. They've improved their program. They've made a commitment, you know, talking to him and their AD before the game and, and you know, over the summer. I think they added a couple coaches. They put a bunch of money in their budget and mm -hmm. they went out and recruited and it's paid off for yep. them. So they've, they've made a commitment and they're starting to win. So kudos to them. Um, and I think they'll, they'll just keep getting better. So neat program they've got out there. Yeah, so they definitely took a big step forward. Now, uh, on our side of the game, uh, just let's start off with the defense. I thought the defense played really well, uh, limited to Howard Payne to under 250 yards of offense, uh, created a tur couple turnovers. What was your thoughts on the defense that really has just been pretty exceptional all year? Yeah, defense was consistent. They did what they've been doing all year, you know, and they held them to, I think, 201 total yards mm -hmm. of offense and uh, got a couple turnovers, had a couple picks, um, played hard all day, and, you know, get their two touchdowns were short field after a block punt and then mm -hmm. a scoop and score on the other side of the ball. Yeah. So really held them to three points that they really earned during the game of yeah. any significance. So um, our defense I've been proud of all year. Coach Carson's done a fabulous job just um, gelling those guys and putting together good game plans and getting them to play hard and play physical. So i mm -hmm. um, been really proud of that group. Defense definitely stepped up. Now let's go over to the offensive side of the ball. What were some things that you wanted to, uh, that didn't necessarily go our way? Obviously it was not the cleanest game offensively. Moved the ball up and down the field pretty well, but just weren't able to get the end result. Yeah, the things that we wanted to get done offensively in the game, we got done, and then we would find a way to kill a drive. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we had, I think, six turnovers to plus the block punt. You're never going to win a game like that. You know, we had 422 yards of total offense. So, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a game where you outgain somebody by 220 yards and yeah. lose and only score three points. Yeah. Um, so we've, we've got to be cleaner. We've got to take care of the football. And, you know, that was really disappointing because ball security is something that we preach all the time and work on all the time. So, you know, a couple bad picks, a couple bad fumbles, and that's the difference in the game. Uh, it's a really a weird game overall because the feel of the game, if you didn't have the scoreboard on, you feel like we're dominating the game. Yeah. Then you look at the scoreboard and we're behind. So it kind of uh, really didn't match up, didn't really tell a true story of how the game went, but we didn't do the things we needed to do to win. Now, uh, obviously the season's wrapped up. Uh, what is, uh, we're, you dive right into off season. You joked before we started that you took yesterday off, first day off right. in about uh, four or five months, and then you're diving right back into today. So what, is, what does off season look like for you starting today? Well, you're exactly right. I think our staff has literally worked about 130 straight days, somewhere around there. Uh, we did take off yesterday. It was our first Sunday off since you know, late July. Uh, so we want to take yesterday, kind of gather our thoughts, and then this morning we're back in the office and going to work. 2020 started today. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start recruiting. We'll start our offseason. Coach Wood's got guys in the weight room today getting bigger and stronger. And, um, you know, there's no, 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 no room to wait, you know, no time to wait on uh, recovery or anything like that. we got to go back to work. So our staff will uh, do a lot of, you know, self-scout evaluation this week in the mornings. We'll spend the afternoon. We'll all be dedicated to recruiting. And then as soon as we come back after Thanksgiving, uh, our staff will be on the road full time. So a question that I've gotten, I think maybe a lot of people that watch this have is, is how much of the, is the onus of getting better placed on the players during the off season? Y'all don't have nearly as much of a hands-on uh, work with them, don't get, don't get as much time with them. So how much is that placed on them to, to get better? Well, it is, and your leadership's really got to step up and hold each other accountable. You know, one of our core values is accountability, and that's, that's this time of year is when that shows up more than any, is um, making sure guys handle their business in the classroom, you know, go to the weight room, go see Coach Wood, take care of their bodies, and just um, continue to come together as a team. Because even though we can't technically be with them, they can be with each other as much as they want, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they can handle that. And you know, we've got as fine a strength coach as there is anywhere. You yeah. know, what Aaron Wood does in that weight room is nothing short of amazing. Yeah. And so, like I said, those guys are in there with him today, you know, starting on next year. So um, I think we've got a good group of leaders coming back. You know, I think our freshman and sophomore class, there's a lot of natural leaders in there. I think our, our new senior class, we have, you know, after Saturday we've got a new set of seniors, yeah. uh, is a unique group and has a personality of their own and I think they'll, they'll do that and step up to the challenge to get better. 
So definitely looking already towards 2020, expecting big things. Uh, not necessarily the way that we wanted to end the season, but I think there were some positives. If you if you look at the, the results on the field uh, or the, the play on the field, it was definitely a step better um, than it had been. So that was uh, encouraging. I know not necessarily what you wanted to see, but definitely a step forward. And I think we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, I think so. It, uh, you know, the record may have been the same as it's been the last few years, but we definitely closed the gap. I don't mm -hmm. think anybody can argue with that. You know, one thing that I am proud of is Everybody we talk to in our league, all the other coaches, I'm constantly getting comments about uh, how hard our kids play, how tough our kids play, and how they'll fight you to the end. And I think a lot of people probably realize that if these guys stick in here and grow up and, and keep working, that good days are definitely ahead, and they're sooner than later for, for Bellhaven football. Definitely big things on the horizon for Bellhaven football. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot.